Hey guys, Ben Nash from Pivot Wealth and news.com.au's Cashed Up Money Challenge. And today I'm here to talk to you about my top tips for how to build a second income through investing. Before I jump into my tips, please don't rush out and make any life-changing decisions off the back of today. I strongly encourage you to seek out personalized advice before taking any action. Now the first thing that you need to get right is finding the right mix between growth versus defensive investments. So growth investments are investments like shares that are designed to grow over time compared to defensive investments which are things like cash, bonds, term deposits that are designed to generate an income but not necessarily with growth in mind. Because there is a big difference between the long-term returns that you can expect, it's important that you get this balance right for you. The second is about understanding and managing your risk. You've got big company versus small company risk, growth versus defensive risk, you've got your investment timeline risk, and then the overall share market risk itself. Now, when you invest, every investment has risk attached to it. Buying shares has some risk attached to it, buying property has risk attached to it, and doing nothing has risk attached to it as well. Now, each of these risks are gonna feel a bit different for you, so the key is understanding them so you can make sure that you're comfortable with any risks that you are wanting to include in your investment portfolio. The next thing that you wanna nail is active versus passive investments and which ones are right to deliver the results that you want over time. Now, active investments are designed to actively outperform the share market itself, whereas passive investments are set up to just track the overall share market returns over time. There's no one right or wrong way here, but the stats do show us that the majority of active investments fail to outperform their passive counterparts over the medium to long term. So it's important that you choose carefully to make sure that you get the results that you want. The next thing is about looking ahead at the results that you're likely to create over the next 5, 10, 20, and even 40 years. To give you a practical example, I looked at saving and then investing just $53 a week into the share market average and look back over the returns over the last 40 years. And we see that if you would have invested over that period, your $53 a week would grow to be over $1 million in 40 years time. Now, I totally get that $53 a week is not nothing, but with it being less than 4% of the average take home income in Australia, for a lot of people that should be achievable. And the more you invest, the more quickly and more powerfully you'll grow that number over time. The last thing here is that you've got to take action. This investment portfolio and strategy won't just happen on its own. It takes action to get the results. So once you've set your strategy, put the time aside to actually make it happen. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed those tips. Once again, Ben Nash from Pivot Wealth and the Cashed Up Money Challenge, which is a six week program where I'll give you a practical tip into your inbox each week to help you budget, pay down debt and sort out your superannuation. You can check out the details at news.com.au forward slash cashed up.